This is the part where you get to learn about one of the character's weaknesses. Good morning. Within this short span, we have some reason for They're talking about heaven on earth, heaven in our bodies, heaven right there. his outfit well just the main thing I'm gonna talk about for my story is this audition and I'm gonna get the address so I have that all set and ready to go my audition is at noon in Sherman Oaks Google Maps it'll take me about 25 minutes to get there mm, parking is available on their lot bring photo and resume no accents Play it super real and grounded. So on paper, I'm totally ready to go. In my head, I'm not. Cause it's one line and I'm making a big deal out of it in my head that I'm not gonna do it right. I'm probably not gonna get it. I've done I've one woman shows like with an hour of dialogue or monologue, one hour worth of lines. Now my mindset is jacked up. So, this is the part where you get to learn about one of the character's weaknesses. My negative mindset about auditions. I think there's one right way to do it. <sighs> so I pulled out this amazing book, The War of Art. Henry Fonda was still throwing up before each stage performance, even when he was 75. In other words, fear doesn't go away. The warrior and the artist live by the same code of necessity, which dictates that the battle must be fought anew every day. I wonder if he had to audition for that stage play. All right, I'm gonna read you this page because I turned to it twice. It's one thing to study war and another to live the warrior's life. Hmm. I go to commercial auditions all the time and don't even think twice about them. I just can't believe that for one line, a name with a question mark at the end of it, I'm just like discouraged. It sucks but I'm not gonna cry or feel sorry about myself. I'm just gonna break it down. And if I must, I'll ask for help again. I'm just gonna rehearse, do what I need to do so that I can be grounded and real tomorrow. And more importantly, just feel good and do it for me, not to please anybody else. And I guess that's the hard part, rejecting myself before anybody can even reject me. It's effed up, but I'm gonna live the warrior's life and just prepare. I'm all over the place. The thing that's so annoying is this, this, this. <sighs> you know what I need to do? I need to meditate. If I meditate, I'll feel so much better. What we're talking about is very simple acting 101. What does she want? I wanna get my job done. The waiting room is really full. I gotta get the next guy in. What's your moment for? Here's where Ruth makes everything complicated, right? Because I could make it like, oh, I just got a text from my boyfriend. When we go into the texting from the boyfriend, that's when we're talking about a lead character's story. <laughs> right, and I'm playwriting. What's gonna book this role is you throwing it away. Because everyone else is going to try to make it something. Just throw it away. You're enough. I know. No, I don't. And I know I, in my head, but it's it, uh, that's yeah. my issue. Hi, thank you, Doreen. Oh my God, that was so helpful. I'm so glad I called Doreen. We ended up talking about lots of other things, about the stories we tell ourselves about who we are and what's possible and stories we make up in our heads. I have to change the story in my head. I finished rehearsing, thank God, and now I'm at dinner with my neighbor, Sloan. Say hello. Hi. The cool thing about Sloane that she doesn't really want me to tell you, but I will, is she's the author. Can I say author? What are you, girl? I'm a contributing writer of a book about Natalie Wood and a book about Grace Kelly. I mean, this brioche bun. What is to kill for? So now Sloane and I are going to go see an improv show. It was a fun show. Sloane's inside saying hello to her friend. 
and I'm ready to go home. See you tomorrow.